Welcome, welcome. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Lovely people. We have been looking at this all-important message of uh, mind your language. And so the objective of this talk, because I bring this message to a close, is, is that you should know that these things are very, very important. That words are very important. That they can destroy you. They can make you. And so you should take control of any environment where words are spoken. If it's a stab, you know their pain is physical, right? You will bleed. There will be shock. And then, but, but, on the, but if it's worse, you, there's every tendency for you to think that they are harmless. But I'm telling you, they are not harmless. They have the same effect. And so I want you to be strong. I want you to be bold enough to approach anyone. Boss, auntie, uncle, church member, Pastor, minister, elder, deacon, and I'm saying that because this is being recorded. To walk up to them and tell them, I don't like the way you make me feel by what you are saying. You must do that. Because if you don't, it's like you standing with your hands behind your back and allow somebody to put a knife through you. Most people don't know exactly what they are doing to you unless you tell them. No, don't tell them out of anger. Don't tell them out of your feelings. Tell them how you feel and describe it. Words shape and define our lives. This world, your world is a world, is a world of words. Your world, your world is a world of words. Anything you hear long enough, you will believe it. Do you understand? I'll tell you what happened to me when I came into England. When I came into England, uh, I had a lot of negative things about, about UK before I came. And so one of the things I made up my mind to do was never to associate myself with anyone who says anything negative about this nation. I don't want anybody to tell me about the impossibilities in the land. I don't need that. You don't need it. I don't want anybody to tell me that I'm, that, that I'm good for nothing. I don't need that. I don't want anybody who will magnify and highlight my errors. I know them already. I don't need that. The greatest enemy in the world is the enemy within. It's not what, you, it's not what confronts you that will be your greatest problem. No. It's a voice in your head that somebody else has placed in there that will fight you from within. That's the greatest enemy of destiny. Words reveal the faith we have in our life. Words, words. The reality you live in many times is, rel is relative to the belief of your heart and the confession of your mouth. Is that, where, is that not how salvation came? How did, you become a, how did you become a Christian? He said you believe in your heart and do what? And you confess with your mouth. Look at where it got you. And that is the first principle of our faith, but it doesn't stop there. Believe in your heart and you say it long enough, you become it. That's what he's saying. So allow the word of God fight for you. You see that spouse? That's why you, you, you can never get anywhere with your feelings. It just degenerates. But speak the word. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. You are a great man. You are a great woman. You are a great child. Oh, you are a great child. Unleash the creativity in your home and in your children. So we are going to change our words. We are going to, first of all, we're not going to stand for anything negative. Because every word you speak matters. You give it, it will go ahead of you and wait for you. One day you will also harvest it. So don't give it. Stay clean, pure with your tongue and your speech. 